हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज विप्रा जोशी एंड आई एम एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन सेंट एंड्रूज इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एंड मैनेजमेंट इन इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीवर अ लेक्चर ऑन सब्जेक्ट ऑफ कंट्रोल सिस्टम इंजीनियरिंग In this video I will be explaining on steady state coefficient for unit ramp signal and unit parabolic signal In previous video we calculated steady state error when input is unit step signal now in this video we calculate same for unit ram signal and parabolic signal so here according to analysis we can say that ess ess equal to limit s tends to 0 s into es here es is laplace transform of error signal of et so we know that es equal to rs upon 1 plus gs into hs here rs is the input for the signal and gs is the forward path gain and hs is the feedback signal and es is the error signal now what we are saying our input is unit ramp signal we know that for unit ramp signal rt equal to t for every t greater than equal to 0 its for t greater than 0 the value of ramp signal is t and for less than 0 means in negative side the value of ram signal is 0 and t and greater than 0 the value of ram signal is t so we are taking it in frequency domain we know that the laplace transform of rt is rs and t is 1 upon s square so our input for unit ramp signal is 1 over s square now the value of rs the value of rs put on the equation 1 then the equation 1 become like this ess equal to limit s tends to 0 s into rs rs in place of rs we put 1 over s square upon 1 plus gs into hs now in the next step it became ess equal to limit s tends to 0 1 over s into 1 plus gs into hs because 
वन एस कैंसल वन एस इन डिनोमीटर देन वी हैव ओनली वन एस इन डिनोमीटर सो इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप आई वॉन्ट टू मल्टीप्लाई दिस एस टू इन साइट then it become ess equal to limit s tends to 0 1 over s plus s into gs into hs now i want to take limit inside then it become ess equal to 1 over limit s tends to 0 s plus s into gs into hs the value of limit s tends to 0 s plus s into gs into hs denoted by kv kv is also called static velocity error constant so steady state error when we give input as ram signal so that is equivalent to velocity error constant we can say that if we found velocity error constant value then we can estimate steady state error because there is relation set between steady state error and velocity error constant again we know that the value of kv depend upon the type of system so we calculate the value of error for all type when our signal is unit ramp signal if we have type 0 system then we know that the value of n equal to 0 for s ki power n so if we put the value of n equal to 0 then s0 will become 1 we know that the velocity error constant kv equal to limit s tends to 0 s into gs into hs so put the value of gs into hs here the equation become limit s tends to 0 s into k s plus t1 into s plus t2 upon s plus ta into s plus tb and so on sn generally in equation we have sn here here 
but after putting the value of n equal to 0 here the value of sn equal to 1. Now if we put s equal to 0 in this equation then we find that the value of kv equal to 0. Then what about the value of ESS? Then the value of ESS we know that ESS equal to 1 over kv equal to 1 over 0 equal to infinite. The form of 1 0 1 upon 0 is equivalent to infinity. So here the value of steady state error is infinity. So we can say that for type 0 system if we have input unit ramp signal the value of ESS equal to infinity. Again I want to check for type 1 system as we know that for type 1 system n equal to 1. So here so if we put n equal to 1 then the value of s to the power n is equal to s. So equation become limit s tends to 0 s into k s plus t1 into s plus t2 upon s s plus t a into s plus t b and so on. Here one s cancel to one s. So if we put s equal to zero because our limit is s tends to zero. Here the value of kv become like k into some constant upon some constant. So if we multiply constant value by constant then the overall value become constant. Now what is steady state error for that value of kv? We know that ESS equal to 1 over kv. Here kv is equivalent to some constant value. So the overall value of ESS for type 1 system for unit ramp signal is also constant value. Again we want to check for that type 2 system. We know that for type 2 system n equal to 2. So if we put the value of 2 in place of n then equation become s square. Now we know that kv equal to limit s tends to 0 s into gs into hs so 
we put the value of gs into hs here after that the equation become like limit s tends to 0 s into k s plus t1 into s plus t2 upon s square into s plus t a into s plus t b and so on so 1s cancel to 1s and here after putting the value of s equal to 0 the overall value is become 1 over 0 so the value of kp for this is infinity now we calculate ess equal to 1 over kv so 1 over infinity become equal to 0 so the value of ess for unit ram signal and type 2 system is 0 now we calculated steady state error when input is unit parabolic signal we know that according to the final value theorem ess equal to limit s tends to 0 s into es and the value of es equal to rs upon 1 plus gs into hs we know that if our input is unit parabolic signal then if we transform it in frequency domain then rt become rs and the parabolic signal given 1 over sq so if we put the value of rs in equation 1 at the place of rs so our equation become ess equal to limit s tends to 0 s into 1 over s cube upon 1 plus gs into hs so here 1s cancel to 1s and it become s ess equal to limit s tends to 0 1 over s square plus s square into gs into hs if we multiply s to inside then it become like that now if we take limit inside it become ess equal to 1 over limit s square plus s square gs into hs so it is denoted by ka ka is known as static acceleration constant the value of ka is denoted by limit s tends to 0 s square gs into 
edges. The value of k a is either zero or constant or infinity. It depends on the types of system. So we calculated the value of k a for type zero system. As we know that for type zero system n equal to zero, and we know that k a equal to limit s tends to zero s square e s into h s. After putting the value of n equal to zero. It become limit s square k s plus t one into s plus t two upon s plus t a into s plus t v. So if we put s equal to zero, we can find the value of k a. Equal to zero. So, what about E S? Then the E S is infinity. Now we calculated same for type one system. For type one system, we put n equal to one. Then equation become k a equal to limit s tends to zero s square into k s plus t one into s plus t two upon s into s plus t a into s plus t v. And if we put S equal to zero, then the value of k a is zero. And again, E S S equal to one over zero equal to infinity. Now here also the value of steady state error E S S equal to infinity. It means for unit parabolic signal, the value of E S S for type zero system and for type one system is equal to infinity. Now we check the value for that type two system. For type two system, we know that n equal to two. So limit we know that k a equal to limit s tends to zero s square g s into h s. After calculating this, we find that the value of k a equal to constant, and the value of E S S equal to also constant. So, if we taking it as a list for all inputs, unit step input, unit ramp input, and unit parabolic input for type zero system, type one system, and type two system. We find that for unit step input, the value of type zero system is one upon one plus k, and for type one system is zero, and type two system is zero. And for unit ramp signal, the value for that infinity for type zero system, and one over k for type one system. 
and zero for tile two system and for parabolic input the value of for type zero system is infinity for type one system is infinity and type two system is one over k so if we observe we can see that diagonal elements diagonal elements are the finite value of steady state error now we will discuss example related to steady state error question first the forward path transfer function of a unity feedback control system is given by gs equal to 5 into s square plus 2s plus 100 upon s square s plus 5 s square plus 3s plus 10 determine the step ramp and parabolic error coefficient also determine the types of system so we know that unit step signal kp equal to limit s tends to 0 gs into hs so if we put the value of gs into hs here the equation become limit s tends to 0 5 into s square plus 2s plus 100 upon s square into s plus 5 into s plus s square plus 3s plus 10. So after putting the value of s tends to 0, the value of kp is infinity. And same we calculate for unit ram signal. and for unit parabolic signal if we calculate unit ram signal we know that unit ram signal we find found velocity error constant and we know that kv equal to limit s tends to 0 s into gs into hs equal to limit s tends to 0 s into same the value gs into hs after calculating it we find kv equal to infinity or same after calculating for acceleration constant uh, we put the value of ka equal to 10 so the next question the block diagram of an electronic pacemaker is given in figure determine the steady state error for unit ramp input we know that for unit ramp input rs equal to 1 over s square so we calculate the value of ess for unit ramp input if k equal to 400 and second part we find the value of k if our steady state error is 0.02 now if k equal to 400 now the steady state error ess equal to limit s tends to 0 s into rs upon 1 plus gs into hs after putting the value of rs 1 over s square our equation become limit s tends to 0 s plus 20 upon s into s plus 20 plus 400 after putting s equal to 0 the value become 0.05 so if our constant value k equal to 400 the steady state error become 0.05 now if error 
is 0 0.02 then find the value of k so here we put k in place of k now the equation become if we put the value of ESS 0 0.02 then equation become 0 0.02 equal to limit s tends to 0 s plus 20 upon s into s plus 20 plus k after calculating this we find that the value of 1000 so for error 0 0.02 the value of k is 1000. Thank you.